problem. Now, you must remember also one more thing. These are the chromosome letters, post chromosome are three paternal. This is called single structured chromosome, right? This is also maternal chromosome, but this is also single structured. When chromosomes replicate their DNA, chromosomes become duplicated. Let's suppose this chromosome, right, it replicates its genetic material. When the DNA replication will occur, what will happen to this chromosome? After DNA replication, this chromosome will become duplicated. Is that right? In the same way, if DNA has been replicated in this maternal chromosome, this maternal chromosome will also become, yes, duplicated. Now, here it is very important, in duplicated chromosomes, right, of course, DNA material is double. Is that right? Because DNA has been, yes, replicated. Replication of DNA lead to duplication of chromosomal structure. Or we can use another term. Now listen. This chromosome, which does not have replication of DNA, this is called, it is one chromosome, one copy of chromosome number 3. And it is single structured. It is also one chromosome, but double structured. Why? Because chromosome one number is basically counted on the base of centro mere. Is that right? Centromere is the point where the chromosome is constructed. Is that right now? So this is single structured chromosome. This is double structured chromosome. Single structured chromosome is unreplicated DNA. Double structured chromosome has replicated DNA. Is that right? Single structured chromosome is also called chromosome with one chromatid. And this is also called one chromosome with two chromatid. Right? Or we call this unduplicated chromosome and this is called duplicated chromosome. Let me recap. When DNA, when one chromosome has one centromere and one short arm and one long arm, what we call that this is unduplicated chromosome or it is chromosome without replication or it is single structured chromosome or we can call it chromosome with one chromatid. Is that right? But if this situation is there, the DNA of the chromosome has been replicated, it is still one chromosome. So what we'll call this? One chromosome with replicated DNA. Or we can call it one chromosome with duplicated structure. Or we call it one chromosome with double structure. Or we call it one chromosome with two chromatids. So I hope you will remember these terms. What terms I have made clear in your mind? What are the homologous chromosomes? And what are alleles on each other? Is that right? Homologous chromosomes have homologous alleles and then I talked about what are single structured and double structured chromosome. In my lecture, I will continue such chromosomal structure as single structured chromosome and such chromosomal structure I will talk about double structured chromosome. Any question here? No. Now let's move forward. Let us suppose that in my body, spermatogenesis is going on. And if spermatogenesis is going on, it means my germ cell must be undergoing the process of my germ cell must be undergoing the process of meiotic deviation. Which deviation? Meiotic deviation, which is a specialized type of deviation which occurs specially in formation of germ cells and gametogenesis. Is that right? Now, let's suppose this is in my testes. This is the primary cell. Of course, my testes will not have oogonia. Right? Hopefully. Now we come to spermatogonia B. Now, spermatogonia B in my body, it has 23, then let me write here, it has 23 maternal chromosomes, 23 maternal chromosomes, plus it has how many chromosomes from paternal side? Also, yes, 23 paternal chromosomes. Now, when there is a full set of 23 chromosomes, when there is a full set of 23 chromosomes, we call it 1N, one small n. So we will use a term here that in this cell, so metagonia, there is number of chromosomes, one small n from which side? Paternal side, one small n from maternal side, right? One small n is equal to 23 number of chromosomes, one set of 23 chromosomes. Now, if you put them together, right? How many n's are there? It is two small n. And when they are two small n, it means it is double of 23. 
So we can also say that this too small n is 46 chromosomes or when number of chromosome is too small n or 46 we say it is diploid number of chromosome. What we call it? Yes, diploid number of loid number of chromosome. I am talking about the cell which is about to enter into meiosis 1. Now, another thing, this was the, about the number of chromosome. Let's talk about the genetic uh, amount of DNA. Is that right? Now, amount of DNA, this is single structured or double structured? Single structured chromosome. And what is this? This is also single structured. Now come back here. In the single structured chromosomes, if there are 23, 23 chromosomes which are single structured, 23 chromosomes which are single structured, we call it the amount of DNA is 1 capital N. Capital N is notation used for the amount of DNA in a given cell. Small n is the notation which is used to the number of chromosome. Now, if we talk about there are 23 paternal chromosome, single structured, what we will say that there are 1n paternal chromosome and 1n mean 23 chromosomes and I say 1 capital N also, right? This is not only 1 small n, it is 1 small n and it is 1 capital N. Now, when I say it is 1 small n situation, it means there are 23 paternal chromosomes. And if I say 1 capital N, it means it is single, all 23 chromosomes are single structured. What is this? Single chromatid or single structured or single chromatid chromosomes. Is that right? Now, in the same way, these two chromosomes I have drawn here. Right? Again, it's maternal side. How many chromosomes from maternal side? There are again 1n from maternal side. So 23 chromosomes set from maternal side. And each chromosome is double structured, single structured here. Single structured. So it will be 1n, single structured. Is that right? So in this case, what we will say? That 1 small n plus 1 small n. So what is the number of chromosomes? 2 small n. Or we can say, what is the number of uh, chromosomes total? 46. So this cell has 46 total number of chromosome and diploid cell. But look at the DNA of it. It has 20, 23, 23 single structured from paternal side. It has 23 single structured chromosome from maternal side. So 1N from maternal side, this is amount of DNA. So amount of DNA from mother is 1N. Amount of DNA from father is 1N. So how many capital N amount of DNA? 2N. Is that right? Any question up to this? No. Now we come to this situation. Actually what happened, before this cell is entering into meiosis 1, before this cell enter into meiosis 1, it is going to replicate its DNA. And all chromosome, paternal chromosome as well as all maternal chromosomes, they will replicate DNA. When all the DNA is replicated, all the chromosomes will become double structured chromosome. What they will become? Double structured chromosome. It means when these single chromosomes will become double structured chromosome here, so these structure will convert into this type. So it means every chromosome is a double structured. Now this cell with double structured chromosomes, right, this is called GS. What is this called? It is called primary gamete. What is it? What it is called? Primary gamete. Of course, this primary gamete in female it will be primary oocyte, and of course, I'm not female, so it will be primary spermatocyte. Is that right? Now, in the primary spermatocyte, which is derived from spermatogonia B, or in the female, primary oocyte which are derived from oogonia right they are having double structured chromosome because they have already replicated their dna and if they have already replicated their dna now very carefully we'll talk about the structure right how many chromosome paternal chromosomes are there now we have 23 paternal chromosome but double structured here were 23 paternal chromosome with single structured so what we'll say that paternal chromosomes are 
23. How many paternal chromosomes? Our paternal chromosomes are 23. And how many n? One n. One small n. Is that right? And plus on paternal side, uh, maternal side, yes, maternal are how many? Look, at this cell, there were 23 single structured, and here there are 23 double structured. So we'll again write 23 but double structured maternal chromosomes. Is that right? And how many small n it is there? It is still one small n because even though they are double structured, but actually the number of chromosomes depends on number of centromeres. Is that right? So how much it will make both of them together? Total chromosome will become 2n small. Or we can say total number of chromosome will be Yes? No, it will be still diploid. This cell in the beginning will be still diploid. But there is a very important thing. Amount of DNA has been doubled here. Right? Because every chromosome from here to here or from here to here has become double structured. Now, if you are talking about the amount of DNA, now here the amount of DNA was 2n. 1n was contributed by father and paternal chromosome, chromosomes and one n was contributed by the maternal chromosome is that right and in the same way here now one n has become two n so two n in paternal set of 23 chromosomes so we can say that paternal this is actually two capital n amount of dna here it is how much again 2n because it is also double structured. So total n will be how much? 4n. So we can say that primary gametes, primary gametes mean in males primary spermatocytes and in females primary oocyte, right? All the chromosomes from maternal and paternal side are double structured chromosome and but number of chromosomes still remain diploid, is that right? And but amount of DNA has become double. Is that right? Any question here? Right. I'm just going to take your test because this bothers a lot to the students. Right? This concept and then we'll move forward. Right? Yes. This is the uh, early germ cell. Right? How many? It is how many number of chromosomes? 2n. Right? 1n from father, 1n from mother. This is the number of chromosomes. So, it is equal to 46, right? It is equal to diploid situation, diploid situation. Is that right? But we talk about the, what is this? Genetic material. From mother, the amount of DNA is 1N, 1 capital N from maternal side, plus 1 capital N from paternal side. So amount of DNA is 2 capital N. Any question here? No problem. Now, uh, this cell convert into primary gamete, right? But before that, this cell has replicated its DNA and every chromosome has become double structured, all maternal and paternal chromosomes. Now, number of chromosomes. Now, number of chromosomes remain the same because centromere is the same, but each chromosome has become double structured or duplicated or double chromatid chromosome, right? So, what we will write here? Number of chromosome, two small n, Two small n is equal to still 46 is still diploid. Is that right? But the real thing to understand here amount of DNA has been doubled. Because amount of DNA has been doubled, so this was amount of DNA here was 1n and 1n. Now it has become 2n and 2n. So what is the amount of DNA? Is equal to 4n. Any question here? It's clear. After these some fundamental concepts, now we come to some special processes which occur in meiosis 1, right? There are some processes which occur in meiosis 1 and these processes do not occur during mitosis. 